Creative Maths brings you Maths Made Really Clear with Dr. Nick, Engineering Notation. Before we start doing engineering notation, I just want to review what indices or powers are. Now you can see you've got three and there's a little five which is called a super up the top which is called a superscript and we, you wonder what does that superscript five mean? Well, the five tells you how many times the number three is multiplied by itself. So three times three times three times three times three equals three to the power of five. So if we had two times two times two, what would that be? It would be two to the power of three. And 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 equals 10 to the power of four. And we can also do this with algebraic terms like a. So we've got a times a times a. So that's a to the power of three. Now powers of 10 are special. Because we use a base 10 numbering system, when, when you multiply by powers of 10, they, they sort of look pretty cool really. So you can see here, we've got 10 to the power of three, and that is 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1000. And notice that there are three zeros at the end after the one. Then we have 10 to the power of 6 is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1 million. And you can see that there are six zeros after the 1. Those zeros act as placeholders. And then 10 to the 4 is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is 10,000. And lastly, 10 to the 1 is 10. There are also negative powers. And so with a negative power, it means 1 over that. So, or one divided by that. So 10 to the power of negative three is one divided by 10 times 10 times 10 or one thousandth. And you can see if we put it in decimal form, you've got one tenth, one hundredth, one thousandth. So it's 0 0.001. 10 to the power of negative six is one divided by 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which equals one divided by a million which is one millionth, which is point zero 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 one. And one thing I always remember is that the number of zeros between the point and the number is one less than the power. It's a useful thing to remember. And here's another one. So we have 10 to the power of negative four. You could quickly jot down what you think that might be. You can always pause the video, remember, if it's going a bit fast. So we have 1 divided by 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1 divided by 10,000, which is 0 0.0001. So three zeros and then the 1. Engineering notation is used for writing large numbers and small numbers in a convenient way. And in each case, you have the, the first part of the number, which will be a number greater than or equal to 1 and less than 1,000. And then you have the times 10 to the power of something, and the thing that it has to be the, to the power of has to be a multiple of three. And it can be zero, which is a multiple of three. So let's start off with, we've got 9,000, and that's nine times 1,000, and 1,000 is 10 to the three, so it's nine times 10 to the three. So if we had 9,200, Sometimes people get confused and think you just count the zeros, but in fact you don't do that because that 2 is taking the place of one of the zeros. So it's 9.2 times 1000. So that's 9.2 times 10 to the 3. And then we've got 9255 or 9255 is 9.255 times 10 to the 3. So you can see all of those are about 9,000. So they all come out as nine or nine point something times 10 to the three. Then what gets a little bit tricky with engineering notation that's different from scientific notation is that um, sometimes the number is going to be bigger than 10 before the 10 to the power. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but we'll just explain it here. So we've got 70,000, that is 70 times 1,000, or 70 times 10 to the power of 3. 75,000 is 75 times 10 to the power of 3. And 75050 is 75.05 times 10 to the 3. So now we'll go on to another one. What about 400,000? Well, that is 400 times 1,000 or 400 times 10 to the 3. 
408,000 is 408 times 10 to the 3. And 408,053 is 408.053 times 10 to the 3. So notice these have all been 10 to the 3 and we started off with a single digit times 10 to the 3 and we've got up to 408 times 10 to the 3. So what about if it gets another level bigger? So now we've got 3 million. We can see that there are two blocks of thousands. So we've got the thousand there and then a thousand there. So we've got 3 times 2 blocks of 10 to the 3. So it's going to be 3 times 10 to the 6. Similarly, we've got 3,100,000 is going to be 3.1 times 10 to the 6. And not that surprisingly, I hope, 3.3105000 is 3.105 times 10 to the 6. You can see that the numbers are all about the same magnitude because they're all 3 or 3 point something times 10 to the 6. Here's some practice for you. So what I want you to do is pause the video now and, well, pause the video and try these, then start it up and I'll give the answers. I hope you paused. Right, 7 million is 7 times 10 to the 6, because you can see the two blocks of 3, or 6 places that it's moved. We've got 3 point, so this is 3 billion 200,000, and so that's 3.2 times 10 to the 9. And then we have um, 100 billion and 25 million, that is 100.025 times 10 to the 9. If that isn't all clear, it might be good to go back to the beginning of this index part and try it again. So now we get to small numbers, though all of those numbers were bigger than 1, and now we're going to deal with numbers that are smaller than 1. So if we have 0.753, that is the same as 753 thousandths, which is the same as 753 times 10 to the negative 3. Then if we have 0.006, that is the same as six thousandths, and so that's six times ten to the negative three. Then it gets a little bit trickier because we don't actually have the three digits showing. So we've got 0 0.05, that's five hundredths, so we need to turn it into thousandths, so that's fifty thousandths. Another way of doing it is to put a zero on the end so that it's got the three digits we want, three places even. And so we end up with 50 over 1,000, which is 50 times 10 to the negative 3. And then the same thing again, 0 0.12 is 120 over 1,000, so that's 120 times 10 to the negative 3. So here's some practice for these ones, and these are some small ones. So again, pause, give it a try. Now the answers... The first one, 0 0.000 and so on, you can see you're going to have to move the decimal point three blocks of three in order to get a number that is between one and 999, because those the numbers in engineering notation need to be between one and 999. So if we only went 10 to the negative six, it would still be 0.4899, and that wouldn't be any good. So it's 489.9 times 10 to the negative nine. The next one, 0 0.025, is 25 times 10 to the negative 3. And then the last one here is well, it's going to be 10 to the negative 6, and it's going to be 6.2 times 10 to the negative 6. Finally, well nearly finally, we have a slide here with five numbers that you can put into engineering notation. Pause, give it a try, and then we will go through them. Here are the answers. 5.3 is 5.3 times 10 to the 0, and I probably should have mentioned earlier that any number to the power of 0 is 1. 299500 is 299.5 times 10 to the 3. You can see that we've just got one block of 3 that we've moved. Then we have 40 times 10 to the negative 6, because if we just go, if we, it's not 4 because that doesn't complete that block of 3. So we've got the block of 3 and then another block of 3. And so we've got point, uh, so we've got 40 times 10 to the negative 6. Next one is, oh my goodness, 1, 2, 3. So we've got 3 blocks of 3 we've gone up. So that's 10 to the 9. So it's 910 times 10 to the 9. And then the last one, 0 0.777 
is 777 times 10 to the negative 3. Now I hope that's been really helpful to you. Um, I'm going to be making some more videos but I haven't made them yet so look in the description below. The next one should be about how you convert from engineering notation to metric units. Do like this video, please subscribe, tell your friends and um, if you've got any questions put them in the comments below.